What's up, guys? I'm Quinn92, and this is E23. So definitely, like, being, like, a headliner um, versus an opener is, like, you, you're treated with more, like, respect, I guess, as a headliner, and as an opener, you kind of feel like you're in everyone's way, and you, and especially if you're, like, a stranger to some people, um, like, we have Chelsea Cutler on the road with us, so she's a good friend of ours, so it's actually not the case this time around, but when I was an opener, I was, like, always self-conscious that I was, like, you know, in somebody's way, or, like, I, like, wasn't getting my, like, stuff out quick enough from a venue, and just, I don't know, there's more responsibility on you, and, like, not many people help you out, because it's more of, like, a learning curve and um as a headliner though you have all these people around you that are like your team and crew and you know like i've hired people to like do all my lighting and like my sound engineering so like i don't have to worry about any of that when i'm performing so being a headliner is, is awesome in that sense um but like i think it's good being an opener because you get to appreciate these things more once you get to that level um so yeah but no i was here back like two years ago with somo it's super nostalgic to come back here for sure I think just like college, um, like atmospheres and college markets are really fun to play. Um, it's just like a really fun crowd and it's like just, you know, for lack of a better term, like kids that just want to have a good time and it takes the pressure off me, I think as a performer, like I'm not, because sometimes I perform in big cities for like, like suits, like people from labels and stuff like that who don't, who like, it's harder to like get them to move and stuff. Whereas coming back to like college areas and markets, it's just like, it's just more of a party, I guess. Uh, I think it's affected my career. Whenever I answer this question, it, I think I, I use it um, more so in terms of like my personality, I guess, because like the Midwest, as I'm like, you guys are sure, like it's it's very like I don't know. There's something about it where people are very humble and like hardworking and like work work ethics is a strong thing, like a strong value, and like my family like you know sort of raised me that way. So I think now that I've like moved to LA and stuff, and and I'm I'm now sort of like in this like. Hollywood like flashiness like at like environment um I'm I'm happy I'm from somewhere like Michigan because it's like it keeps my roots intact and I don't forget like where I came from I need a minute to myself so yeah so outside of you know the early Motown stuff um that I I, I heard at an early age uh I as I got older I got into like Jack Johnson um Third Eye Blind um Nowadays, I listen to like John Bellion and um, Years and Years is a band I listen to. Um, Regina Spector, Sarah Bareilles, like cool, like really female artists too. I, I always, I always like listen Chelsea. Even I listen to like she's like one of my favorite acts. Like it's cool to like know some of these people and like yeah, like those are those are some of like the I guess newer acts that I I, I look up to and, and definitely draw inspiration from. Tell my friends that I don't need you. Last time. I call it melting pop because it's like melting pot, but like it's because it's like a culmination of like a bunch of genres, um, and that's really what it is. I mean, it's like it's like a blend of like soul music meets like hip hop meets reggae, even meets EDM, um, like electronic influences. So it's kind of like this whole just like stir of of stuff that I listen to as a fan of music, and then once I started making my own stuff, just came out naturally, I guess. I think always been used my favorite song. Um, I, I like, I mean, biasly, I like all my songs, but uh, I, I think that one just really, for me, connects well. And like sonically, I really like the fact that there's like live instruments on the record. Like there's a lot of like guitars and like live drums we use to record. And and um, even when you like see it live, like when we perform it live, it's very interactive with the audience. So like, um, it's just a special song in like that sense. And then to play it live, and yeah, I want to do more of that as I as I like go further in my career like in, like experience or experiment I should say with like more live like instruments on songs because I think like there's like a lack of that in the industry these days I could name so many yeah we would be here for hours but uh like I uh, I, I love John Bellion he's great um I love all the acts I told you about like years and years um Sarah Bareilles is really cool Jack Johnson I think it'd be cool to do a song with Jack Johnson um I'm trying to think like those those are always the guys like off the top of my head I, I I like list but there's so many I mean like I think every day like you learn about somebody new on Spotify because like nowadays like music's so attainable but also like anyone has a shot to succeed and um just like scrolling through playlists like I always find new people that I'm like oh wow that that's a really cool artist like I would love to collab with them so um the names I dropped were some of the ones I've just always wanted to work with but uh 
yeah, those like the 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 new Spotify acts that I, I come across are always cool too. That's your, the one for me. I, I would say the most thing I've I've like gained and like I've improved on is like just my confidence overall. Like I used to be super shy, like even like off stage, I guess just as like a person in like classrooms and you know, um sometimes with friends I would like hold stuff in and like not be as vulnerable as it, like I probably should have and I think with guys too like groups of guys like they don't really like especially like Midwest guys who are like just like you know like sports and like whatever I guess most guys would do that but um, like you kind of like suppress your emotions you don't want to like talk about things that are on your like your chest but now I feel like with with the platform that I have and like um, just the ability to, 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 to like impact lives I think it's really important to to um to speak on those things because like a lot of people want to say those things they're kind of like stuck in my shoes four years ago where they didn't like have that like confidence to, to, to speak on those topics this love stay calm in the night yeah help me i was i didn't speak at all like i was shyest kid ever but outside of class like i was i was totally social like i i i had like a good amount of friends and like it was just like a normal i i don't know like i wasn't like a jock but i also wasn't like a nerd I don't I don't think at least uh so <laughs> I was just kind of like in the middle and like I I tried to like meet as many people as I could and just kind of float around like gain as many friends as I could and I think that's really important too because my high school was really clicky I just noticed that off the bat and so I wanted to make sure that I didn't like fall into one like genre of, of person in the school so yeah I mean I was I was I was definitely shy in classrooms for some reason I don't know why but I guess over time and like going through college and stuff that just kind of like Went away. I think it definitely helped me become more creative because so I went to Michigan State and they didn't offer like a music program there so like the most like left of center like writing type of degree you could get was probably at least in my opinion was advertising so it helped me really think outside the box and stuff and actually helped me like with lyrics and stuff just just write more like conceptual things that other people weren't talking about um, yeah, but I mean, I joke around and say like I use it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, but obviously I, I don't think I do. I have, I have like a team that does that for me, which is great. Um, but yeah, I like to, I like to like give my ideas though and, 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 uh, and just, you know, use that outside of the box mentality whenever I can. I just think it's really important in music um, to, to be different as, as, as much as possible. You know, what's funny is like, I was just saying to the, today with Chelsea about this, it's crazy when you go to markets that are, you know, they're not big cities. They're not like these like big urban, like, you know, New York, LA. I mean, those are hard to sell out too, but I would ar I would argue that the, the like areas like this are harder just cause like you don't really know, like, like you hope you have fans like in this area, but you really, at the end of the day, you don't know. Like I, I truly like, I wouldn't say I, I thought I was going to, but I, I, I also wouldn't say that I didn't think it was gonna happen. So it's kind of like somewhere in the middle where I was just like, I was confident, but I, I, I knew in the back of my mind like it was very possible that it, it wouldn't sell out. Leave me hanging on. What's next? Um, so I have a second album coming out, which looks like it'll be by the end of the year, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of festivals and one off college shows, so um, like performing at fraternities and stuff. And, you know, that that will probably be like my last round of doing that, because I think as you start um, as like a as like a early act like those become more common but I think as you get older your goal is to like sort of like break out of that market and just do like festivals and stuff so I'm like lucky enough to kind of be getting to that point so um, I'm really excited about that um, and then yeah expect just like a whole new project to come out an album like a lot, a lot more music I have a lot of features coming out that I'm on with other artists um, yeah just just a ton of content I guess what's up guys it's Quinn 92 once again so happy to be talking to you guys at Mizzou can't wait for the show tonight at Columbia at the Blue Note um yeah shout out to E23 thank you guys so much I appreciate it it's me.